Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. I want to generalize this theorem to arbitrary commutative ring if possible. So I want to prove, so now the base ring may not be a field. So the question is, what is the dimension of a polynomial ring? in n variable over arbitrary commutative ring. Here a is commutative ring. So, obviously then now we cannot apply the normalization lemma all the techniques because we do not have a field, we do not have a finite type k algebra, we do not have a transcendent degree and so on. So, and so, I will do it for one variable first, polynomial ring in one variable over a commutative ring. So, we have to analyze, we need to analyze the situation like this first, A contained in the polynomial ring and this is my ring B now. And what happened to the prime ideals here? Whatever we did, we want to imitate it here. So, if you have a chain of prime ideals here, how do you get chain of prime ideals in a polynomial ring? And if you have a chain of prime ideals in a polynomial ring, and what is the difference between their lengths and so on and so on. So, this is what analysis I want to do. So, first of all, note that if I have a prime ideal P in A, and I extend this prime ideal to B, PB. PB is the ideal generated by P in B. So, the, uh, the coefficients allowed are more than A. So, this is precisely all the polynomials whose coefficients are in P. So, that notation I want to use this Px. So, this is the notation for, this is the precisely the set of all polynomials a i x i, i is from 0 to whatever d in a x such that these coefficients a i is are in p or all i. This is clearly an ideal. Because if you have such two polynomials, if I add up the coefficients are correspondingly added, so they are, they are also in P. If I multiply by arbitrary polynomials, then the new coefficients will be in the ideal generated by the coefficients of this, so they are in P. So this is clearly an ideal. I do not have to check that if I, if I would have said this, because this is ideal generated by P in P. So ideal is clear. And I, the next thing I want to check it is the prime ideal. So, P x belong to the spectrum of spec of A x. In general extension of a prime ideal may not be prime. So, and as I keep saying the only way to check uh, ideal is prime in the ring you go mod that and check it is uh, integral domain or not. So, we have this A x. A may not be an integral domain, but here when you go mod it Ax by Px, we had A here and this is isomorphic to in fact A by P 
no polynomial x now the new base ring is a by p and this is this ring this residue class ring is nothing but the polynomial ring or a residue class ring of p this is an integral domain so therefore this is an integral domain so therefore px is a prime ideal and note also that when i so when, uh, when we had p prime ideal here we went to prime ideal here when i come back again that means if i contract this px to a i get back p this is also very trivial so i would just say check this so the checking i will leave it a routine checking is is you do it but when checking in walls little bit new ideas i will indicate that this needs uh, more attention so there is another prime ideal which you can get from the given p so p is given now if i take ideal generated by p and x in ax this also is a prime ideal that is because when you go mod ax mod ideal generated by p and x so this ring is nothing but isomorphic to a by p that x will disappear because x you are putting it zero so you get an integral domain so therefore this ideal is also prime ideal and because it contains p therefore it will contain px this is contained here this is a prime ideal this is a prime ideal and one is contained in the other and also they are not equal because x is a variable which is here and which is not here because here only those polynomials occur whose coefficients are in p so also note that this this contraction of this ideal generated by p and x is p so p is intersection of ideal generated by p and x intersected with a this is also clear so therefore i have a chain of prime ideals in ax which is one is contained in the other but both of them are lying over the same same prime ideal p so what we uh, the theorem lying over theorem which was in the um, integral extension case this is not true here no wonder because it's we have uh, a transcendental element there x so i want to write and i want to analyze now what happens to the heights so for example we have just noted that this is a chain of prime ideals and it is proper how many are there in between or is it there any way at all or something so i want to analyze now what happens to the relation between the heights so that is what i am doing now so so let us write it as a proposition okay right now our base ring is arbitrary commutative ring so the notation i will use now given a prime ideal p we have a residue ring a by p residue class ring a by p and also we have a localization a localized at p and uh, this is an integral domain so a to this this is a natural map this is an integral domain so it makes sense to talk about that quotient field quotient field of a by p so this is a natural inclusion here and on the other hand we have this local ring 
and whenever you have a local ring, you have a residue field. So there is here AP. The residue field is AP by PAP. This is a local ring with maximum ideal precisely generated by P. So this is a residue field. So these two fields are same isomorphic if you like. Because see this field you have got by inverting all the elements here. And this field we got uh, by going modulo this. So exactly the elements which are outside P we have inverted. So this is, these are these two fields are same. So the residue field at P, so these I keep calling residue field at P. So the residue field at P is the quotient field of A by P. So residue field at P is same as quotient field of A by P. Okay. Now I wanted to write down the proposition which will relate the prime ideals of AX and prime ideals of A and their heights. This is what I want to do. So start with the prime ideal. Let Q be a prime ideal in AX. And let us call P to be the contraction. P is the contraction of Q to A. This is in the spec of A. Then I want to write uh, first statement. I want to write one height of Q mod Px. Note that because Q contacts to P, and when I extend P, that will be contained in Q. So Px, this is an extension of P which is contained in Q. Because Q we have contacted to P and this we have extended. So obviously the extended ideal will be conti contained in the original ideal. So this is it. So this makes sense. And when I write height, that is height in the quotient ring Ax by Px which is the polynomial ring in X over A by P. So this height plus transcendent degree of the residue, uh, this residue field I will denote by Kp, Kp. So this is the, the transcendent degree of and the similarly similar notation for Kq. So Kq is the field extension of Kp and that transcendent degree. These two numbers add up to 1. So that is the first assertion. So the next one is second. Second assertion. Uh, height of Q equal to height of P plus height of Q mod Px. Which is also equal to height of P plus 1 minus transcendent degree of the field extension Kq over K Kp. So first of all note, if, if I have this one, if I would have proved one that is this, this plus transcendent degree of Kq or Kp is one, then this height will be one minus this transcendent degree and then this equality will follow from one because height P is same and I have just replaced this height Q mod Px by one minus transcendent degree. This, this equality just follows from one. But this equality we, we need to prove. And the third one is height of Q equal to either height P or height P plus 1. 
and this case will occur if this q is the extension of p and this will occur if q is not the extension of so if i prove these three qualities it will give you fair good knowledge of what happens to the prime ideals in the polynomial ring when you contact to the below ring so let us prove one first and so proof one so uh, note that all we are concerned with with p and not anybody beyond p so uh, height will not change when i localize all the chains if i if I, all the chains of prime ideals if i consider they are contained in the given p and whether i want to compute the length whether i localize or before localization it is the same so we may assume and this short form i will use it for we may assume a is local with maximal ideal p so uh, this you this you achieve by replacing a by a s inverse a where s is a minus p you pass on from a to a s inverse p. a and then okay all right in this case now because p is the maximal ideal so this i write in the bracket in this case a by p the residue field a by p is a field because we are assuming a, a p is the maximal ideal and the the polynomial ring mod the extended ideal then this as was as we saw earlier also this is isomorphic to a by p and then adjoining the variable this is a field so this is a polynomial ring in one variable over a field which we know is a pid so this is a pid and we are considering the ideal q mod ideal generated by extended ideal by p this is what we are, we are we are concerned with we want to compute the height of this that is the first assertion so therefore we are looking at this ideal which is an ideal in this this ring which is a pid therefore what can be this is a prime ideal in this pid so there are only two possibilities either that prime ideal is zero or it is non zero and in that case it will be maximal so there are two possibilities only so height of q mod px can either be zero when it is a zero prime ideal or it is one there is no other possibility because any uh, the if you take any chain of prime ideals in a pid it can have length at most one zero and then it stops the next stage right so it can either be zero or one so now we'll analyze when it is zero and when it is one so for example if it is zero height is zero means what it's a zero ideal zero is a prime ideal so this case this will imply q is px zero ideal means they are equal so q is px and therefore height of height, uh, and what is the residue field kq see we other, other number we want to relay the height is the transcendent degree of the residue field at q and residue field at p 
So let us write down what is the residue field at Q and residue field at P. So what is KQ in this case? KQ is nothing but how, how, what, how do you, what is the recipe for finding the, uh, the KP or KQ, KP. So you first go mod P and take the quotient field. So first go mod Q and take the quotient field. That means this, I have to do this, AX mod Q, this I went mod and then I have to take the residue, uh, I have to take the quotient field. So the quotient field of this, so Q of this. But what is this residue field? What is this uh, residue, residue ring? This is nothing but K. So this is this is nothing but this ring is nothing but the polynomial ring over a field. And when I take the quotient field, I get a rational function field over KQ, KP. This is this ring. Is that clear? And this, and we are we want to know what is in this case, what is the transcendent degree of KQ over KP. But this is over this residue field KP, this is a transcendent degree 1 because it is generated by the variable 1. So, this is 1. So, height is 0, then the transcendent degree is 1. So, that means they add up to 1. So, that was the assertion. Now, in this case, we should prove that if height of this uh, Q by Px is 1, then the transcendent degree should be 0. That is what we have to prove. Right? So, let us prove that. So, now we are in the situation where height of Q mod Px is 1. Note that we are working in the ring, working in a PID A by Px. This is a field by our assumption that a P is maximum. So, we are working in this, this ring. This is ideal there, prime ideal there and we are assuming its height is 1. So, it is a maximal ideal. So, this is a maximal ideal. in this ring, in this PID. And you know very well that the ideals are principal. So, it is generated by one polynomial, the minimal polynomial, right. So, there exist a monic polynomial F in AX f is in q such that q mod p x is generated by f bar, where f bar means you read this polynomial f mod p. We know it is generated by one element. So, take that element and we can assume without loss monic and you lift it, lift in such a way that keep monic, keep the polynomial monic. That means, when you do lifting, one bar you should lift to one because you have a lot of choice. So, keep the monic in is intact. So, there exists such a monic polynomial f so that mod px f bar generates this ideal. But now, when I go mod uh, uh, q, so ax, when I go mod this ideal, then I get this ring, because this I have to go more in this ring, I have to go mod this ideal. 
and then you get a field because this is a maximal ideal so you get a field and in that field this is a field and in this field that this f bar f when i take f and plug it in x bar small x the small x small x is the image of capital x in this residue class when i in this f when i plug capital x equal to small x this is zero in this ring because it is in q therefore this small x actually satisfies integral equation so this means so that is x is integral over a and this was the residue field this is precisely kq so we have checked that this residue field is algebraic over kp because when you read these coefficients mod this p reading mod p so you get coefficients in kp so therefore this is algebraic over kp so once once it is algebraic over kp that means the transcendent degree is zero because by definition transcendent degree is the cardinality of the transcendent basis and for algebraic extension empty set is the transcendent basis so therefore transcendent degree of kq or kp this is zero and that is what we wanted to prove this was in the case when the height is 1 so our first assertion was when you put when you add up the two numbers that is height of q mod px and transcendent degree of kq or kp the sum should be 1 so that proves it is 